Hi, I'm Sandra Cafasso, and today I'm going to tell you why I always travel with this jacket. I just want to be upfront and say, yes, I do own this jacket. I've designed and manufactured it with some friends, and we currently sell it online. But I genuinely, and I mean this 100%, I genuinely believe this is a great jacket. And I do travel with it all the time. I've taken 47 flights and saved around 2,000 pounds. I'm not joking. That's how much I've saved by using this jacket. This story is about my trip to New Zealand for a friend's wedding back in 2019. Trip details, 14 days, five flights, four countries, 40 hours flying time. Baggage allowance, one checked in bag, one carry on. Hang on, that doesn't sound like a lot for 14 days. Why? The reason is there was five flights, each with different baggage allowances and five days in a tiny camper van meant we had to travel light. So, recap, baggage allowance, one check bag, one carry on, and my stuffer jacket. Check luggage holds the bulky heavy stuff up to 23 kilograms. The carry on, a usable rucksack which held my all my camera equipment like phone gimbal, phones, chargers, batteries, headphones, travel documents, itinerary, warm jumper and anything else I could squeeze in while I'm not overpacking. Stuffer jacket housed all the clothes I could fit into it. I haven't explained this yet, but the stuffer jacket is designed to carry clothes. So it's got 12 or 14 hidden pockets inside. You simply put your clothes inside it. When you check in, you can wear the jacket and when you board the airplane, you can also wear the jacket. Once you're on the plane, simply take it off, store it in the heavy head locker, put it under your seat or wear it to keep warm. The trip. Flight from London to Singapore, Singapore to New Zealand. I'm going that way, I think. Yeah, I'm going that way. Or... Okay, cool. Brilliant, thank you. <laughs> As you can see, I'm not wearing my jacket anymore. Once I'm on the plane, I think we need to wear it, not cold, and I can just put it in a packable bag which I can store in one of the pockets. Eleven hours down, eleven to go with an hour stop off in Singapore. Yeah, I'm knackered. It's worth it. Just 
trying to stay awake because it's um, probably about five in the afternoon New Zealand. So I can stay awake if I get there at ten in the evening. I can then go straight to bed in the hotel room, hopefully sleep through, and then um, go from there. But yeah, it's still a long journey, 24 hours to get here, and yeah, I'm still with about seven hours to go. So yeah, just had a little wash as well, which is nice. Anyway, 23 hours later, we land in New Zealand, clear immigration, wait for the baggage carousel, loads of bags come off, all the bags disappear, mine's not there. My bag was delayed last night, it's still in Singapore. All I have was this bag, my carry-on, which was carrying all this stuff for my equipment and camping stuff. And luckily, I brought my sleep stuff bag. Luckily, I brought my stuffer jacket which is in this bag. So I've got clothes to wear, thank flip for that. Hang on. Yeah, and that's one of the reasons why I always take my stuffer jacket with at least two or three items of clothes, just in case something goes missing. But it turned up 48 hours later, so it was okay. And I did have two days to kill in Auckland anyway, so it kind of worked out really well. Reiterate, this is not a video about selling my product. This is about explaining my experience with my product, how I test it out, what I've done over the years to kind of tinker with it and find out the best ways I can use it and make it better. Um, I'm gonna do more videos based on starting a company and how successful it's been or not successful it's been. Um, just to kind of show you my experiences. Um, I'm not kind of too bothered if it makes lots of money or if it doesn't. The idea of creating something and being creative is way more important to me um, because I learn from that. Also, even this journey with my company, you know, I haven't been successful in terms of making it a viable company to live off, but it's given me so much more stuff in life and I can explain that in more videos. Um, but I wouldn't be sitting here today making this video unless I'd started that company. And hopefully I can explain to all you guys out there in later videos. But maybe put some questions in the comments below, maybe ask me for certain aspects of the company that you want to know about, or how I started, or where I got the idea from, or how I got the finance for it. There's so many questions out there. There were so many things to deal with. So I'm sure you have lots of questions. And if you're thinking about doing it yourself, maybe just throw me some comments below and ask me some questions because I think I've got some good advice. Yeah, that's it. If you like what you're seeing, maybe hit the subscribe button and uh, see you next time. Cheers.